Having visited Caves Tuxara, I was given an extensive tour of the winery and was met with utmost generosity and a warm welcoming by the friendly staff and owners of the winery. And it being such a delightful experience, I would like to share it with you, the audience, in hopes of maybe inspiring a potential trip to Xara if you happen to one day pay a visit to Lebanon. Xara is a destination worthy of a dedicated journey, and so I would like to share my tour in the winery as well as give you a brief insight of the rich history behind the incredible caves of Xara. Xara's vineyards are located in the central and western Bika Valley at an average altitude of 1,000 meters. The Bika enjoys dry summers and has the added bonus of its own natural water table, courtesy of the melting snow that runs off the slopes of the mountains. Upon arriving at the winery, I was met with a rather attractive entrance which immediately caught my eye and pushed me to enter the premises. And as you enter, you are immediately welcomed by the ornamentation of antiquated winemaking equipment elegantly decorating the main lobby, such as this old large wine press. And speaking of old, moving forward directly into the middle, you will find the famous caves of Xara, discovered in 1898, a grotto dating back to the Roman era. It was discovered by local orphans engaged to work on the estate, one of them, Jean Garios, writes in his diary, The winter is exceptionally cold and long. We could not work the vineyard, and, having nothing to do, we were allowed by Brother Guichard to look for the fabled grotto that we knew existed. However, Garios and his friends found the caves by accident rather than detective work. Attempts to smoke out a fox that had been terrorizing chickens led the determined boys to stumble across the ancient caves. Since then, the caves have played a central role in the success of the winery. At 1800 meters long, these unique caves maintain a constant temperature and hygrometry throughout the year, providing ideal conditions for the aging wines. Some of these bottles are considered treasures of fine, dry red wines that have been aging in these caves since 1918. There are various types of fungi on these bottles, which formed over the years. The keepers of these wines don't remove the fungus, believing that this signifies the old age of these bottles, and that there's no helping cleaning the fungus, and it's simply the natural condition of storage in these caves. Interestingly enough, some of these bottles can be auctioned, however, people who collect these bottles keep them for the story that they carry rather than drink them, even though in most cases they are in fact drinkable, despite some of these bottles being more than a century old. These nearly 2 kilometer long caves hold about 900,000 bottles stored within the ancient dungeons and cells across these caves. There's no lack of historical artifacts and ruins in Lebanon, but it was still awe-inspiring to see these caves in person. Communications manager Rania Shamas generously gave us much of her time and happily briefed us about the history behind these caves. As she puts it, we receive about 40,000 visitors each year. We show them a documentary and give them a tour of these cellars. They can also visit the vineyards if they like. French make the bulk of foreign visitors at Xara, followed by Germans and Brits. But the majority of our visitors are Lebanese who know little about their wine heritage and are surprised to learn so much. That's what makes my job so satisfying. The recent opening of our new state-of-the-art tasting room will reinforce this and ensure that we keep setting new standards in hospitality and professionalism. One of the original owners of Xara was also glad to show us around. Camille Shawi, son of Zafar Shawi, the chairman of the establishment, who also gave us a warm welcoming to the winery. Camille went ahead and showed us around the estate as well as the huge concrete wine tanks which have been built to be interconnected with the caves so that the barrels are easily rolled from the tanks into the caves for storage. One thing here in Lebanon that is exceptional and you have uh, and they can't, no one can touch it. We have an incredible soil, we have a great weather, we have sun, uh, we have snow in the winter, 
vine uh, lives in a great climate. It's uh, very enjoyable. Uh, it has plenty of sun. In winter, it hibernates under the snow. Uh, it has water, so the Beka Valley, um, we call it the Beka Valley. It's not a valley, it's a plain. Uh, but it's a natural water reservoir. It's very rich in water because the two mountains on both sides are mountain that goes over 3,000 meters of altitude. So you get snow on both sides that melts and goes down to settle in the Beka Plain. And this creates a water reservoir. The vine is a tree that has uh, uh, the characteristic of, ha of having roots that dig very deep on the, uh, in, in uh, the ground and uh, gets its water from pretty low. So um, we have grapes that drink by themselves, live by themselves, they're happy, everything is natural. And it's been like this for generations. Um, the temple of uh, Bach, Bacchus, the god of wine, mm. uh, the god of parches, is uh, in uh, Valbach, just here. Um, this was one of the first places on earth where uh, vines has been grown. Uh, I think that what, what makes it so special, I would say it's the soul, the, nat the nature, the the climate. Chateau Xaha, established in 1857, went through uh, First World War, Second World War, uh, it went through um, food crisis. I'm sure that you will go uh, through this uh, tough, uh, tough economic uh, situation and political situation, and uh, we are very well established and we are here to stay. So. Enjoy our wine. <laughs> Chateau Xara is an exquisite site that holds Lebanese winemaking heritage of over 150 years. Like so many other ruins and ancient sites in Lebanon, Xara and the caves within are the pride of our nation. And so I proudly present to you the end of this short documentary, which hopefully gives you an idea of what we truly represent and hold within the great lands of Lebanon.